Good morning everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another vlog. As I said, loving vlogging at the moment and it's such a beautiful sunny day today. I feel like spring is finally upon us. I hope it stays. The weather never stays in the UK but for now it's sunny and fresh and it's just like giving me life despite the fact I had zero sleep last night. I'm feeling good this morning and I'm going to be vlogging for you guys. And before I start this vlog, I wanted to talk to you about the sponsor for this video. I'm very excited about it. This video is sponsored by Fennec, which by the way, can I just say, I've been calling it Fennex my whole life. It's a store I've been going to forever since I was a kid and I've always called it Fennex. And I've just found out because I'm working with them that it's called Fennec and it's thrown me. So if when I say Fennec, I sound weird, <laughs> it's because I'm really making an effort to say Fennec. Anyway, very excited to be working with them. And it's actually on a beauty campaign, which is perfect because that's kind of what I would go to Fennec for mainly. I love their beauty hauls. They do a really good selection of brands. They're currently running a campaign called Inspiring Confidence Through Beauty, which has been running since the beginning of the year. And I think it's a really good campaign because I think, despite the fact we know that confidence comes from within, I think beauty products can make a massive difference for your confidence, whether that's just because you love the process of applying your makeup or doing your skincare routine. Like for me, unwinding in the evening and doing my skincare routine is just such an important part of my day. I never miss it no matter what. Yeah, I just think beauty products can make a massive difference to your confidence. Not because you have to wear makeup, but just because you enjoy it and you want to. Makeup, skincare, the products you use in the shower, in the bath. So it's a really cool campaign. And actually as part of the campaign, they're running some in-store events as well, which is really cool. I'm gonna link below all the details in the description box for all the events that they're currently running. If you wanna go check that out, if it's something you're interested in. For example, the sort of things they're doing are you can have a makeover at the Chanel counter and then have your own photo shoot with a fashion photographer, which is really cool. I used to love doing things like that, like before my blogging days, before having makeovers and doing photo shoots were like a thing. I used to love doing that. I remember doing it with my friend Hannah once, like going to the counter and getting our makeup done. The fact that they're doing like a photo session as well, I just think it's really cool. They also very kindly asked if I would like to pick out some beauty products from their website. So I didn't go too mad, because obviously I've got a lot of beauty products. I don't need too much, but there were a few things that I really wanted. So I've got my little Fennec bag here. Oh my God, I almost said Fennec's there. <laughs> um, I'm gonna open the bag, like un unbox it. It's not really unboxing, but I'm gonna show you guys what I picked from their website and like talk you through the products quickly. Good old fashioned beauty haul. Oh, everything's really nicely wrapped up. Look at that, snazzy. Um, but this one is just right at the top. So let me show you. This is, you guys know, this is a repurchase for me. Um, it's the Hourglass Arch Brow Shaping Gel in clear. Because these things aren't clear, as in like the packaging isn't clear, you can't really see when they get gross. But I know that I've had mine for ages. So it's great to have a new one. This is the best clear brow gel I've ever used. The brush is just so good. And my brows are like a big statement on my face. So making sure that those always look tamed and good um, is, is important as part of my makeup routine. Okay, let's see what's in this one. Ooh, yes. So Fennec stock a brand called Neon, which I really, really love. I love their candles. I love their scents. They're really like clean candles. They, they burn like an oil and there's no like soot or anything when you burn them. Um, I love the scents as well. I've got some essential oils from Neon that I'm actually gonna take with me in my hospital bag. I'm very excited about. Um, and I love the scent Real Luxury. I've got one of their Real Luxury candles. So I thought it would be a good idea to get one of their reed diffusers. Reed diffusers are really good um, if you're worried about burning candles in your house for like safety reasons. They're the little sticks that go in and they let off so much scent. I really like to put this on the little table by my front door because then when you walk into the home, it's the first thing you smell and it just immediately relaxes you. Like all the stress from the day disappears and you walk in and you're just like, ah, oh, relaxed. So, ooh, that's cool. The little reeds are black. That would look really smart. So I'll go put that on my little table after this. The real luxury scent is like a very spa smelling scent. I also got these. Oh, these are cool. So I actually got like a little sample of these in my hypnobirthing goodie bag thing. I haven't used it yet, but they just seem so cool. So Fennec do the box, and I thought I would try them out. I think it's a box of five. These are called space masks, and it says um, they're self-heating eye masks, which will transport you to another dimension, relieving tiredness, eye strain, and many other earthly tensions. So they're basically like heated eye masks. I thought that was really cool. Like when it comes to 
confidence and stuff for me relaxing is a really important part of it and i just think this this would be a really good thing to use like in the evening if you need to wind down maybe you can use them in the bath i think they last about 15 minutes i'll let you know oh it says essence of jasmine and iron powder i'll let you know how i get on with these i haven't seen anyone else talk about them they look really interesting just a couple more things oh this again something i already owned but i actually had it in the wrong shade it's the charlotte tilbury flawless filter fennec is the place that i go for charlotte tilbury and i love the brand in general when it comes to like makeup confidence i think her products are amazing they work so well very glowy they can be really bold but like subtle as well like you can really play with the makeup and make it what you want there's so many of my favorite products from charlotte tilbury you guys know that and i had this in shade number three but it was a bit too dark for me so i got it in shade two and this is just a really nice glowy liquid that you can either put all over your face first before you do your foundation or mix it in or you can just simply like dab it on the cheek on the tops of your cheekbones and down your nose and it's glowy without being glittery. So I'm really excited to have that in the right shade so I can wear it more often. And I find just having like glowy skin, glowy foundation makes me feel so good. Finally, I got a couple of products for my hair because I recently picked up a sample from the Kiehl's counter of the amino acid shampoo. I think I've heard Anna talk about it in the past. It's got like a really strange name, so I was so intrigued, but it's meant to be great. And I really liked the little tiny sample size that I used up. So I thought I'd get the full size. So I got the amino acid shampoo. I love Kiehl's packaging, it's so simple. Um, and the amino acid conditioner. Um, it says for all hair types, with pure coconut and jojoba oils. This gentle daily conditioner is formulated with wheat protein and wheat amino acids for a light creamy texture that imparts a healthy looking shine to hair without weighing it down. It helps to maintain the hair's natural moisture balance to further strengthen hair and improve manageability. So I think it's a pretty like standard shampoo and conditioner um, but everyone who tries it raves about it. So yeah, as I said, I have tried it and I really liked it. So I just had the full size. Let me just see if there's any sort of like scent to it. Oh, coconutty scent. Oh, I love things that have a coconut scent. Makes me feel like I'm on holiday. So happy to have those. So thank you very much to Fennec for letting me do like a little mini beauty haul. That was very exciting. They've got so many great products online and in store. So definitely go check them out. And check out the Inspiring Confidence Through Beauty campaign. As I said, I will link everything down below. If you want to find out more about the campaign or what in store events are on, definitely go check out that link. The hashtag for the campaign is hashtag Fennec Confidence. So I'm going to go put these products away. I'm going to put that neon thing downstairs actually because I just can't wait to smell. Oh, I can already smell it through the packaging. It's so good. Rich is actually off work today. So he is going to be using his time wisely to start sorting out the garden. Now the weather's improving, we really want to get our garden not done. We're never going to be able to get it done. Like I think that's a job for next year maybe. But there's a few things we need to do before we can like get a shed. And we need a shed to put in our millions of cushions for our new outdoor sofa. So we've got the outdoor sofa out. Put the cushions out because it's nice weather and he's going to be painting the fences now i've decided to paint the fences black i originally got this idea when i went to lucy williams home when we interviewed her for our podcast it looked so cool she has a small courtyard so it's a very different style but i just think it looks really great and i know it'll fade and i know it'll chip but fences always kind of look like that and i feel like if it's gonna look like that it might as well look like that but be cool in black it's gonna look really weird at first because we've got nothing it's just gonna be like three black fences but once we start growing stuff i think the green and anything you grow will really stand out in front of the black that's my kind of aim scary um but we've been putting it off for ages we finally committed to a paint and rich is starting he like prepped them yesterday and now he's painting Oh, I can see him doing it out the window, actually. He's very excited. He likes being, like, productive. So I'm going to go check out what he's doing. I'm also going to show you guys later in this video a little clothing haul because I ordered some stuff online. I'm just struggling to get dressed at the moment, um, but I also don't want to buy things that I'm not going to wear for a long time. So I realised that once I have the baby, obviously you still look pregnant, you still have, like, a tummy for quite a while, but all my maternity clothes are winter. So I've been trying to buy like dresses I can wear now, but that I'll also be able to wear in the summer once I've had the baby. So I've ordered some and I will try them on and show you guys later in this video. Okay, let's go downstairs. Let me show you guys a little bump update. Ignore the mess. I mean, our house at the moment is ridiculous. Um, but this is me at 30. Oh God, I've forgotten what I am. I think I'm 33 weeks. Um, I'll be 34 weeks in like three days. This is my bump. Eek, getting close and exciting and strange. So this is how the reed diffuser comes and you can leave it like this. It looks really nice actually. You just take that off, 
pop that on and put these inside. But I've actually got this little um, diffuser holder thing and it's run out of scent, so I might just pour it into there um, for now. Okay, so I've poured that in there. I'm gonna pop those in. And basically the scent travels up these. Oh my God, it already smells amazing. It's gonna smell so good. I always know when people walk into the house and they're like, it smells so good. Just gonna take Rich out some water. This is our new garden sofa. I love it. It's normally a table there, but it's over here for now. How are you getting on? Because it's got it's got like the bits in between. It looks black black. It's a good first coat. Yeah. Really good paint. Um here's some water. I'm gonna sit here. Oh my god, this is amazing. It's like summer. I haven't even tried this out yet. Ooh, it's comfy. It's like firm. Ooh, oh Rich, this is good. I'm gonna help do a bit of painting to help Rich um, because the feet is not that strong smelling and it's outside. You, you just need it up to me, I can show you my world, we can go through it all. You, you just leave it up to me, take a trip to the stars, I can show you it. A little update, we've done this much so far, it is looking so good, but it's hard, it's really hard work, but better for me to be up doing something than lying down. Turn this baby around. I'm gonna walk up to our local cafe and get some sandwiches for lunch. I'm living for this weather, it's so nice. Okay, I hobbled my way to the cafe, it took me bloody ages, but I got myself this kind of like burrito-y thing that the guy said he had and was delicious. And Rich got a Reuben bagel. We can sit at our new table and eat. How fun is this? It's such a good height. We went for something like this instead of like a low coffee table because then we thought we can move the table if we want it to be more chilled, but then we can also use it as like a table to eat at, which I really like. I know this sounds like super cheesy. Do you ever just like feel like you want to just capture a moment? Like I'm sitting here in the sun, eight months pregnant or whatever I am. Rich is painting the fence. Our house looks so nice. It's like the first time we've had been here in the summer. Doors are open. And then James Taylor just came on our playlist, who's like my absolute fave. And I felt a little bit of mosh, not gonna lie. I keep going to help Rich paint, and then I get to like three panels, and I need a nap. <laughs> it's been a little while, I've had a little nap. Um, it's cooling down, but it's still really sunny. I've had some crisps and dip. Let me show you Rich's progress. The whole back, and then pretty much all of the sides. Helps a little bit, but not much, can't lie. It's looking really good, really happy with it. Just a shame we've run out of paint. It was so expensive. We bought, how many, three tubs? Two. Two, two tubs? Five litres. We thought that'd be enough for all. We haven't even started this side and we've got half a tub left. And still all of this to do. And we've been told to do two coats. So we're gonna end up spending like over 200 pounds on paint, I reckon. No. Wasn't it 100 pounds what we already spent? No. Yeah, exactly, and look what it's done. We're gonna need double that at least. I'm just so happy with how it looks. I'm so glad, like, I feel like I had the vision of black fences, but I was really scared on how it would actually look, and it looks really good. So I'm gonna go upstairs and show you guys what I bought, and I haven't tried on any of the stuff yet, so I'll try it on with you. I look a bit crazy, but it's because I've been sitting out in the cold and, like, napping. <laughs> look how cool it looks through the black crystal windows. Okay, the first thing I bought, which I've already worn, and I'm not gonna show you guys it on because it just looks like a shirt, but it's this shirt from Topshop Maternity. It's like a silky fabric, and I just love their maternity stuff, and this shirt is very like me. It feels like the old me. Really like the neckline, it's kind of pajama style neck. Buttons, and then obviously, it's just long enough that it fits over the bump. It's got kind of long, quite like um, bellowed sleeves, is that what it's called? Really like this, been wearing that a lot. Also ordered some stuff from H&M. To be honest, I've had this stuff from H&M Zara for maybe over a week, a couple of weeks. Uh, I've been waiting to open them in this video, so I can't really remember what I've ordered, but yeah, just trying to buy stuff. That makes me feel better, because I just don't know what to wear every day. This is a jumpsuit. First impressions are the fabric is very synthetic and cheap feeling, which I'm not sure I'm gonna love but it's probably really good and stretchy. So it's a jumpsuit with tie waist. I'll try that on and have a look. I'm not sure about the fabric though. I feel like also you're definitely gonna be able to see your knicker line through, which is gonna annoy me because I won't wanna wear fancy pants. Massive box from Zara here. So let me have a look. Um, there's something in here which I'm really excited about because, oh, 
I saw Susie Vera wearing this when she came into the Gleam offices recently and then I looked online and it was sold out but then when I looked again in the kind of maternity section it was back in stock so I don't know if this is like a maternity version or if they're all the same. Either way it's just a really loose dress so I feel like anyone could wear it. I don't think this is maternity, it's called the polka dress and it's white with black polka dots, it's got kind of three quarter length sleeves and then it's kind of like a drop waist so it's got this like hem here and then it goes down and then it's got this extra bit at the bottom I'm gonna try this on I really hope it suits me maybe I'll wear it to my baby shower I'm having a little baby shower my sisters insisted I will vlog it for you guys um so I'm gonna try that on I also ordered this like rusty colored long shirt this is definitely a very creasy item that will need ironing. I'm not gonna iron it before I try it on, but if I like it, maybe that'll be a good one to wear with leggings. This was a bit of a wild card. I'm not sure when I would wear this, but I just fancy kind of trying it on and seeing just in case it looked great. Achoo, bless me. It came in two colors, this like beigey color, and then also this really nice blue. It's a silky dress. It's got like puffy, kind of like 80s sleeves. It's kind of cross body and then it ties and hangs down. I don't know, I'm, I feel like the silkiness of this is not gonna be very practical. But I'll try that on anyway. And then this one, which just looked like a really nice, loose kind of summery dress I thought I could wear now whilst pregnant, hopefully afterwards. Things always look really cool on the models on the Zara website. So I don't know what they'll look like on me, but it's like a t-shirt, it's very kind of casual t-shirt style at the top. It's got these pockets and then this kind of drop waist and it's really long. I think that would look cool with like slides or trainers. Okay, let's get trying on and I'll show you guys what everything looks like. This is one of the Zara dresses. I don't know about this. Like I, if I wasn't pregnant, I would really like this. I like the style of like the long casual dress and from the front, it's not too bad, but from the side, I just feel really big sorry i hope that doesn't offend anyone i don't know what like i'm supposed to say but just for me it just it, it doesn't feel flattering i don't know i'm finding this part of pregnancy really hard to dress i just feel really big in this um i'm not sure i feel great in it i don't know if this is going to be a case of all dresses but it's very comfortable but i'm not sure it's the one. Oh god this is going to be a massive haul fail <laughs> first of all i mean this is my bra so i don't really understand how that works um, second of all, this is the, the dress, so that's, I mean, I can't really open it without showing you, but that's, that's my stomach right there and my legs, and I literally won't be able to walk without completely flashing myself. I'm sure this was from maternity. Maybe it wasn't. God, maybe I've got, like, a problem where I don't really understand what size I am right now. <laughs> this is the long kind of shirt top. I really like the colour, and I like the buttons. Um, I guess it's got these buttons here as well, in case you want to extend it. I'm just wearing bare legs, but um, I would probably wear leggings with it. It's very creasy, which could be annoying. It's quite cool though. It's got these kind of pockets here. I think maybe it's worth keeping for when I want to look smart, but wear something comfortable. I think this could be a good one, actually. One thing that I like so far. Okay, time for this dress. And I really, really hope this suits me and fits, because this is the sort of thing I definitely would have bought before. Yes, it fits, and I like it. Um, I think this is a really cool dress. I'm really happy with that. I still think from the side, I feel a bit uncomfortable that it's, that I look, I don't know, like, like this, I guess because it's not like figure hugging. I don't know, I can't explain it. I don't love what it looks like from the side, but from the front, really nice. Really like this. I think I definitely wear this to my baby shower. Maybe, it's an option. Do you know what? H&M maternity is really good. It always surprises me. This is actually really quite nice. Um, it's got just a nice cut to it. Um, and it's kind of flattering because it hugs the bump a bit more. And it's got this tie which goes under the bump and then really nice loose trousers. I will, I think, have to wear fancy pants with it, which is annoying, but you know, sometimes you just gotta do it. And it's nice that it's short sleeve. I think it'll be good for the summer as well. I think I could get used to the material. It's not as bad as I thought. So I think I will probably hold on to this one. So that's good, three things. Pretty successful, I'd say. Okay, the kitchen's an absolute tip, so I'm gonna give it a good tidy up, and I think I'll put you guys on a little time lapse. Oh, before I do, let me show you this. I've shown you guys on Instagram, but not on YouTube. This is our new neon sign. Obviously, it looks so much better in real life, it's so hard to show you on camera. But it's just above this table, maybe if I focus on it. 
it says love will keep us alive which is an eagle song it was actually our first dance at our wedding um and it's in the same handwriting as my blog font it's from a company called neon poodle and i'm so so happy with it i've wanted a neon sign forever wasn't sure what to get wasn't sure where to get it from i went to spoke to so many companies and in the end a neon poodle was recommended by a friend of mine who had a sign from theirs at her wedding and they also then got in touch and kindly offered to gift it to me which was so kind of them I absolutely love it it just adds such a nice like warm light to this middle part of the room especially as it gets dark I love it so much sorry that you can't really see it I think you got a little you know you can kind of see it it's just so clever because it's not actually technically neon it's like rubbery I think it's LED Oh, it's so great. Stay on the fence outside. It's all the way up to here, so he's only got a little bit left on that side. I think he's gonna try to do the whole of that side. And then tomorrow, he's gonna get up early, buy more paint and do the left side. He's doing so well, and I think it looks great. I've had a craving for squash since hanging out with Anna. <laughs> This is much better though than the apple and blackberry. Apple and mango squash. Hmm. Someone commented on my last video from Australia saying, oh, I've just realized what squash is. We call it cordial in Australia, but we have cordial here as well. So it's not that. I think cordial is like more of like a stronger syrup. Like we have elderflower cordial, we use that a lot here. Squash is just different, so hard to explain. Okay, we're both very tired, which is still finishing off the fence. Um, my back is killing me, which is not good. But I think at this point your bones start to soften, so it's quite common. Um, I was always prone to back pain before, so it was always gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna make us dinner. I'm gonna make us gnocchi bolognese. I haven't really got the energy to cook properly, but we have nothing else. I was gonna try and make just like a tomato -y pasta, but it's just so boring, so I'm gonna do it. Ooh, this recipe also has spinach in it. I've gotta try to eat a bit more iron. I'm not like in the part, like they obviously took my blood and I'm not in the dangerous bit where I like have to take iron supplements or anything, but they're like, I'm on the lower scale, so I should try and eat more things. It's just really confusing and overwhelming. Like they were saying something about you have to have fruit afterwards for it to digest into your system. I don't know, but I'm just trying where I can to have more iron in my diet. I'm listening to How I Built This podcast whilst cooking. I've heard so much about this and never actually listened to it. And I didn't realize Emily Weiss is actually on here. So they talk to people who have built amazing businesses and how it got started. It's very inspirational. Oh my God, I'm so glad I cooked this. It looks and smells delicious. It's uh, gnocchi with bolognese and spinach and stuff. Mm, so yummy. Okay, I'm watching The Voice, bouncing on my ball. Gonna go take my makeup off in a minute. Gonna end this vlog here. Ooh. <laughs> Just pause this. Actually, I'm going to try not to bounce because when I did that in my stories, everyone said it made them feel motion sick. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. I'm very excited about the fence. I'm going to try finish it off another day, but it's looking really good. Um, don't forget to check out the description box um, because all the details for the in-store events for Fennec will be down there. And thank you so much to Fennec for sponsoring this video. I'm so excited about the new bits that I've ordered. Rich, you haven't smelt it actually. I haven't shown you. There's a new diffuser in the hallway. It smells yeah. really good. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.